Live now. December 17th already. Wow. 2018. Let me get a uh, Twitter share out here. So that some people can know I'm live now. Another little cool morning. Jacob to school. Be with you in just a second, everybody. Going to be doing the Emperor, an uh, interesting character from Star Wars. for Shannon today. Okay, let me tweet this out. I think we're just before we're just before nine o'clock. So getting a little bit of an early start, but that's cool. Um Good morning, Tater. Good morning, Ron. Glad to see you made it home all right last night after that big Mexican meal. <laughs> Those can weigh heavy on the long drive. as far as distance any further and I'm starting to look for somebody else to drive for a while good morning Paul welcome uh, I would like to say and I'll I'll say it early and I'll say it often or something like that um I am gonna continue doing uh, later today I'll do another stream uh, let's see, nine. Uh, if this goes to about 11, I'll take a break and come back on around 12. And for those of you who don't know, I am doing quick uh, $20 head sketches, same size paper. Uh, no tones, no frills, just uh, good old fashioned uh, brush marker. And I'll give you an example of some that I've done. Um, Symbiote Spider-Man. This is one of four for Dr. Kaz. I've got three more to do for him today. Uh, these are for Steven. A Thor from back in the day. The good old days. A Wonder Woman. And a Red Skull, which I actually redid yesterday when Ron was here because the first one I did on Friday night I was not happy with so I uh, sat down and sketched this and inked it yesterday um, when Ron was here uh, just so I would like it better and, and feel better so these are twenty dollars I will be taking more and doing more throughout the week so if you're interested in that um, let me know in the chat room or you can contact me and uh, I'll go ahead and put that I should have put the contact link in the information below but I didn't but it's easy enough for me to put in the chat room here that's for 
for you who don't have my email, who might be interested in this. Uh, and there's my wife calling. Let me mute this real quick and see what she's needing. All right, should be back, hopefully. So, she just had to check with me on a little something, something. Everything's fine. Did I lose my, I think I did. Uh, I lost my page for some reason it's gone it's, well we'll just go back to it da, da, da. okay there we are now I can keep that up and let's see I am feeling fairly mellow this morning had a good night's sleep was up early early and uh that's always a good thing for me not for everybody but for me so um let's get to ink in uh emperor uh, how do you say his name Palpatine, I believe. Uh, welcome to the new watchers. And I would like to say, uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do. There's a subscription button. If you click that, you'll be subscribed. But make sure you tap the little bell that comes up. That's the important part. If you want notifications on when I'm going to be live. Ah, unprepared this morning. I took the some of the stuff off my table to redo it and didn't quite get it all done yesterday. And that's all right. And like I said, I am in a... That's some tape. I'm in a relaxed mood. Hopefully that will continue throughout the day until something runs off the rails. <laughs> you know how that goes. Um, so far, so good. Just need me a little piece of paper here to point my brush on. Um, so... Now that's in place, so we're good to go. And like I said, we are doing the Emperor, and I believe this is a first for me, so uh, it should be kind of interesting. He's very deep in shadows here on his cloak, so I'm kind of going to do... what I'm seeing from my reference. Kind of going to try to place his face inside of this big cloak that he wears. 
big uh big druid like um hood hood gown type thing Yes, sir, Ron. Welcome back. And had a good time yesterday. Thanks for making the trip and hanging out. Uh, we'll have to do that again. Maybe this week. If it's in your, if it's in, in your plans, I know you, you, you got other things to do or you might have other things to do, but if not, maybe, maybe we can get you down here for another day. Trying to find his, uh, trying to do like the, find the shadows, the real dark shadows on him first. Kind of working dark to light for, uh, for a difference. Welcome to the rest of the gang that has joined the room. See, so this is the inside, uh, if y'all can see, inside of his cloak. Now I'm going to try to pull out the, the blacks, first of all, the darkest of the dark. And this piece uh, and tomorrow's piece will be Star Wars themed. These are for Shannon. Tomorrow will be Darth Vader. I've done Vader before, but I don't think I've ever done the Emperor. So I figured I would start with him. All right, that's kind of the wrinkles. He's he's re got some really craggy skin going on here. Uh, and I hope to play that up with the tones. Hey, Shannon. Ah. Uh, well, I uh, hope you can hang out for a while. But if not, that's what a replay is for. Um. Interesting character here. Those eyes are red, so I'm probably going to go back in under the bags and, and add a little red pencil on them. Not, uh, not the uh, watercolor red, but maybe I'll do a little gray and then put red pencil over it, and it'll that way they won't be like blood red, but they will have that intense kind of red that his skin has it looks like I'm even picking up like that real pale skin and then 
also red kind of in his lip area. Okay, uh, let's see. He's got a nice cleft in his chin. I actually thought I was going to get back to 7 a.m. streaming this week, but I woke up this morning to 48 degrees, and I think it's 49 out now, so it hasn't really warmed up a lot, and I don't think it's going to warm up uh, much warmer. I don't I don't even know if it's going to hit 60 here today. So we are definitely getting a little bit of that winter weather. We're sharing it with everyone here in Florida this year. But not as bad as most, of course. Could be in the 20s. Uh, let's see. He has got some shadows that I'm going to blend into this side of the cloak.
got a little highlight here. Okay. Hey, Stephen. Good morning. Uh, did something uh, yesterday. I think I'll show you. Um, Ron was by, and uh, while I was waiting for him, I sketched this out, and then I inked it just before he left last night. But uh, I redid your... Uh, $20 Red Skull sketch because the one I did on Friday night had way too much chin when I looked at it the next day. So this one is much more proportional. I like it a lot better. Hope you do too. So this is the one you're getting. If that's all right with you. I think it's a much better drawing and um, I felt that I needed to redraw it. Hey, no problem. Um, it's just something that, you know, I thought I had way, and I did, I had way too much chin on that Red Skull Friday. Even though his mouth was open, it, it, it was bugging me. Bugging me to the point that I needed to redraw it, so... And for those of you watching who don't know, I will be streaming again later today. And I will be doing more of what you just saw. They're on the same 6x8 paper. Um, just a, a brush marker, black and white. Uh, I am calling them quick sketches. They take me, well, they should take me about a half hour. Um, but if I really don't like something, um, odds are I'm going to redo it just like I did that red skull for Steven. So probably around, um, 12 today, I will be back on. I have three left to do for Dr. Kaz and I'm open for any, uh, new, drawings after that so if you're interested in that Christmas special you can hit me up uh, and get in on it before it disappears Now, the ones I'm working on today, such as this one that is for Shannon, my special on these right now, and these are the ones that I do the full tones and uh, ink wash and stuff on. I went ahead and decided to 
if you request one, finish out the year um, at a $40 price, which is $10 less than my normal, I'll call dibs price or after the show's over price. So if there's a character you want in this way, uh, until the end of the year, it's forty dollars. If 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 it's a character that I just happen to be drawing that day and you want it, it'll be my normal price of fifty. And starting in twenty nineteen, uh, I need to go up ten dollars on the price of these. So they will instead of fifty, they will become sixty. So. Um, just think about it if you're in the market. Uh, I know it's around the holidays. That's why I'm trying to get a little extra do re me up myself. Uh, I still got a few gifts to get. And some extra funds would not hurt Santa Beatty here. So that's why I'm doing a couple of options. $20 head sketch is my most economical thing you can purchase. It's not going to have as much attention into it, but it's going to be probably worth a lot more than $20. And that does include shipping. Um, and then $40 for what you're seeing me do now and what you've seen me do uh, for the past weeks until 2019 when they go up to 60. Inflation, people. <laughs> Artists got to, you know, here's the thing. Um, not to make light of it. Artists have to really uh, give themselves a raise. You know, I, I have to, I'm my own business, so I have to um, consider my own value and time. And since I work for myself, I have to establish my own rate and what it's worth for me to do something. If I don't, Nobody is going to, uh, although I, I have to admit, I've had a few people give me nice tips. And that's that's always pleasant when, when an artist gets a tip from a person that gives them a commission piece to do. So that's it in a nutshell. Nothing too complicated, just going over a few details. Any questions, please feel free to ask. And of course, since the since the sell on these are it, well, it's going to the end of the month, the thirty first, then yeah, uh you know, you have that long to, to get in on it. Because the ones that come in at the end of the year um, won't be started until 2019, so. But I would maybe mention that you might want to, if you're thinking about it, if you can get in early, it would help me. And uh, if I get too many of them where I feel like, okay, I'm, I'm really backed up, this is going to take me a long time, then I might have to uh, not take any more. Now that hasn't happened yet, but...
Mr. Ron did buy five. He's got his request in. He's uh, I, I might start his at, at the first of January. Only for the fact that next week's going to be broken up with Christmas. This will be a full week and I already had Shannon kind of lined up for these Star Wars ones. And so he kind of has a whole theme week. Which I'm not going to I'm not going to let that out right now, what we're doing, but soon enough. And I would actually like to have them all sketched out um, before I start Ron's week. Try to imp improve my workflow on that a little bit. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this, I'm looking at my reference, and I'm like, this is... It's, a pretty scary guy and I hope I'm I, I I hope that I'm doing the character justice I from what I can see of him uh, I think I am he's got this really kind of I don't know what kind of skin he's he's got some bad skin I'll just say that It's almost like uh, a Two-Face type thing he's got going on. Like maybe he had an acid bath or something. I, I don't know. Maybe somebody out there that is more well-versed in Star Wars can chime in as to what happened to his, uh, his complexion. Now me, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I was thinking about it, of finishing this week out with Star Wars, but um, I might not. Oh, you know what? I haven't spoken about yet. Oh, thanks, Shannon. Glad you're loving it. I'm I'm actually thinking like I'm gonna keep the black cloak to keep this nice uh, black shape. And him in the middle. And then uh, what I'm looking at, the photo reference I got, he's looks like he's uh, in a ship or something background. So I'm either going to do some sort of just a, a blurry, a blurred out watercolor-ish type background. So he's, he's definitely getting a background of some sort. But I'm really having fun with all this textural stuff going on in his skin and I like that I chose to um, do a lot of it uh, as I inked it
Ah, okay. Shannon says his own force lightning killed his good looks in a battle. Very interesting. Very cool, I guess, uh, for a movie. Not if it happened to me, but... Tells a little bit more about the character. Hmm, wonder where that Dr. Kaz is this morning. Wonder if he's uh if he's lurking in the room or maybe he just hasn't made it in yet. Maybe we'll see him this afternoon when I'm uh when I'm streaming his uh sketches. talking to Ron yesterday and uh, showed him a few things that um, 
in the ink wash on these, I, I want to get a small hair dryer down here. I could probably pick one up at like a, um, I could pick one up at a Walmart or something, but even a, what is it, a Walgreens CVS or something, they're all about 20 bucks. And I want to be able to dry the ink wash a little bit quicker um, because there's some, sometimes when you put the, the, the ink wash right over, um, you get these softer blends and Actually, the one he got is a good example of one in the face where I think when I did the face, it was dry enough to where I, when I went back and put the dark on it, I got what I would consider a harder blend. It didn't bloom as much, so to speak, and I kind of like that. So the, the real way to get that, at least what I'm thinking, is to get your your first layer, at least your first layer of wash, more dried into the board. So uh, eventually, y'all are probably going to see me using a hair dryer. And when I turn that thing on, I will mute my, um, my microphone because that's not a sound even I want to hear. <laughs> but I'm going to, unfortunately for me, I'm, I'm going to have to hear it. But it's just a, a little technique I see in some some watercolor and some ink wash stuff I've been looking at that it really does take that little extra bit of dry time. To get to get that effect, so Eventually, we'll, we'll get there. All right, Shannon. Um, thank you. Uh, good luck with your cases. Go win a million or two. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but good luck to you. Good morning, Dr. Kaz. How are you today, sir? On this uh, Monday, the week before Christmas Eve, seems like it's seems like Christmas is going to come fast. Seemed like it was so far away. Um, but now it's just a week out. Dr. Kaz, I don't know if you heard or not, but I will be back live streaming again today at around noon. So if you're so inclined, if you got the time, I know you'll be joining in when you can.
And what will I be doing, you ask? I'll be doing your $20 quick sketches, which for anybody who's interested, they are the same size as this. They're just a little uh, quicker done uh, with a, a nice, I might add, uh, brush marker no tone just black and white and this is gonna all get black anyway so I don't really have to be too fussy with it I just really want his his head to uh, to pop out of his cloak his druid his druid-like headdress and cloak. Okay, so I will show you all the $20 sketches that I am doing, which are still available to anyone. <laughs> hey no problem now you see i had to take i did take the uh friday and friday the both friday uh streams off that were you know those are just kind of light-hearted and fun and although this is too but these i think serve a little more purpose uh i think people can watch and i don't know maybe i'm rambling i i saved them to private i still have them uh if you ever want to watch them again if i don't delete them then they will be available so these are the 20 dollars sketches the same six by eight paper that i use on these um I use this Kurataki brush marker and for the big black areas I use one of these um, Faber Castell Pitt Big Artist brush pens. So this is a symbiote Spider-Man. This is one of four for Dr. Kaz. I got three more to do for him. This is Thor from back in the days of Jack Kirby for Steven, Wonder Woman. And this is for Steven, although I think it's for uh, somebody. I think he's getting it for someone. And this is the new improved Red Skull that I redid for Steven because I really didn't care for the one I did Friday night. It had way too much chin and the teeth were way too big. I kind of got a little carried away. So this one, this one sells it for me. I like this one. So there you go. Uh, I will probably, when I'm done with this, take a break for about an hour and try to start at around noon. And I will go, I, w I will I will stream for as long as I actually have uh, the quick sketches to do. And Dr. Kaz has, I got three more to do for him. None, no more after that, but I'm hoping to pick some up maybe during the time that I'm doing his. Maybe during my stream now. Uh, and that'll be about it. So I'll go until, you know, now if I get a hundred, <laughs> I can't do those all today, but I'll do as many as I can. This is a, uh, I don't know if y'all can really uh, appreciate, probably not. If, if you saw it in person, it's, uh, it's got a lot of finer line stuff on it that, um, 
that is not viewable uh, on the stream. So I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time doing this. So the next thing I want to do is just really, uh, I think I want to go in with the tones. Because his, his cloak is just going to be a big mass of black. I want it to be, you know, I want the eye to really be led into um, into his face. So he, it's going to be all black. And I am going to put some sort of background element, whether it be a loose wash that drips down or something like that. But... Um, for the most part, yeah, it's just going to be, oh, and I am going to do like a colored pencil, I was telling Shannon, since his eyes are so red, I think I'm going to, and what I'm going to do now is I've got this really light shade of ink wash. And I'm just going to tone the whole, his whole face down with it. Even across the whites of the eyes. This is kind of a trick I've been learning, watching some painting uh, videos where the only true white is necessarily not the white you think. Um, a lot of people that I've been watching, they paint digital. And if they don't, if they don't paint digital, they'll put like pure white on a brush up to an area that it, it really does look white. And um, you begin to notice that it's not white, even though your eye leads you to believe it's white, only for the fact that um, it's so light that it appears white until you put it next to a true white. So... That's a that's a deal there, uh, Tater. I can do you a Kirby style um, Ant Man for the twenty quick sketch, and I can add that into your um, to your Spider Man Noir. Which, by the way, I, that that is a really good movie. Um, I didn't know much about the Miles Morales character. I don't know how much is involved on, you know, how close it is to the comic. But it was a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, do go see it. Uh, the different styles of animation, um, the storytelling, it's pretty, no pun intended, amazing. Um, and Tater, if you still have my information, if you want to PayPal, uh, that money to me, you can go ahead and do that. Um, also, if you want to include, uh, a reference, uh, uh, Kirby Ant-Man, um, reference to me. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steven, you can, uh, uh, you can add that. Now, I will tell you, um, the one that I did for Dr. Kaz, that's, Mike Zek and I kind of do that similar symbiote Spider-Man. That's kind of a remark type thing. Um, so, I hope you don't mind if it's similar to that one. And, and that's also part of the reason of the quick sketch is that it may be a repetitious thing, but it does make them faster to do, um. I mean, I could switch it up a little bit. That wouldn't be that big of a deal. 
but for both of you, I think you both have my email. Um, just shoot it my way. Put the description. Tater, if you want to find uh, Kirby style Ant Man, because I'm trying to remember back if uh, if it's the same one I remember where he's got the wraparound uh, thing on it, like the helmet with the antenna and the wraparound thing in front of his mouth, but not like the, the movie one where it's like a mask, but it's more of a almost like a football helmet with a mouth guard wrap around. Speaking of football, I did not like seeing that score for the Miami Dolphins getting beat by the uh, Minnesota Vikings yesterday. That was a very painful uh, loss, especially since um, the Patriots lost, which, you know, that could have moved Miami into a better position for getting a wild card berth. But what can I tell you? They didn't let me down. The Dolphins came through. It looks like, uh, you know, they're seven and seven and seven right now. Five hundred. That's that's about what I expect out of them. I think they started the year out at least at three and zero or four and zero. I know. I think their first loss was to a team that they should not have lost to, like maybe the Buffalo Bills. And their their next loss, of course, came to or came from New England. Ah, but they beat New England back with a uh, razzle dazzle play. So all was good there. Let's see. Let me uh, see what I got going on here. I got this shadow. This is from his um, his cloak. So it kind of raises up a little bit. Let me get here. It raises up goes down. Go ahead and make that. Get to that eye in a minute. The Bears fans are doing uh, doing really good this year. Hey, good morning, AG. All right, Stephen, ten four on that.
But yeah, I was I was talking to Ron yesterday when he was here about the movie and about the way they visually portrayed Kingpin and they really borrowed uh and I I didn't see like a credit for it or anything, but they really took the uh Kingpin that Bill Sienkiewicz established, you know, from my eyes at least, and kind of ran with with that look. He's literally like a big ball. Uh, his head sits on this big hulking form as a ball, and uh, it just really looks cool. Hey, G, you, you need to take them. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, I think you will enjoy it, too. It was, uh, it was a good movie all around. I don't think anybody that I know that's seen it has been disappointed in the movie. Unlike the Venom movie, I think a lot of people that I knew were that were looking forward to it were fairly disappointed in that one. But I also have a feeling that the Venom movie was kind of a victim of its own um, in the sense that I think they were planning on making it an R and at the last minute they decided, hey, there might be kids interested in seeing this and then they had to cut the movie which is never a good thing once the movie's like that far along. It's almost like, uh, oops. I think they probably should have just left it to R and they probably would have been a lot better off. Hey, I just, uh, I got, I just want to let you, uh, Steven and Tater know I got, uh, PayPal from both you guys. So I appreciate it. Uh, those will be added to today's sketch session. And thank you again. All right, let's let that dry.
<laughs> uh, I, I, I know what you mean, AG. Kind of know what you mean. Um, but it's, I guess it's one of those things that has to get done. And if you're the one that has to do it, uh, I guess you got to do it. All right, get those teeth a little less prominent because I see from my reference they're not uh, not quite as noticeable as I had them, but they're still there. Hey, let me take this break. Uh, if you're a new watcher or if you're watching this on replay, and you haven't done it yet, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have a lot of fun here doing art, talking art, uh, talking technique, talking supplies, all that type of stuff that people like to talk about. Um, when you hit the subscription, you'll see a little bell up here. That little bell is for notifications. If you tap that, you will be notified when I'm live or when I upload uh, already previously recorded content, which I don't have any of that I've put up yet that I can think of, although that is in the works. Um, what else? Oh, and you can always give a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section, either a quick hello if you have a question about the piece I'm working on or any other question about what's upcoming or just whatever, feel free to put a comment down there and I will get back to you as soon as possible. ASAP, as they say for short. So I invite you to subscribe at least. And if not, I hope you're enjoying watching. All right. So, I'm actually going to take a little pencil and do red on that eye at the end and maybe a little bit on the lips because, Ron, if you are available, you can probably tell me, are his lips, the picture I have up, um, and, and maybe some of the other ones, let me roll up here. I know his eyes are very, eh, his lips are not as red as I thought. Okay, his eyes are though. His, uh, the bags underneath his eyes are, well, I could do a thin little bit. Maybe his top lip, a little bit at the bottom, not the full lip. 
but that's where I guess the blood really is. So I will, uh, I will address that when we get done uh, with the rest here. So I am going to block in, and it's it, really what I'm after here for is um, on this part is just the shape. of his druid-esque cape, or cape, cow, and robe. Because it is literally just going to be a nice, big, black shape in the sense that it's going to be this nice graphic Um, holding shape for the rest of really the interior. I don't want to get fussy with it at all. There's enough going on. Um, there's enough going on in his face that I don't want to. I, I've got no need to put anything inside of the outline I just drew except black to lead the eye uh, up and into his face. But having said that, I do need some sort of background. Um, and that is probably just going to be a simple wash, maybe some what they call blooms if I want to that's where you get real wet and then put a dab of darker color and let it just bloom out um, so we'll see what happens this will be a little experimental that could be a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> I guess we'll find out but we're gonna go for it I have my big number one flat brush out because um, I really want to cover a lot of area with this. And I thought this was going to get more uh, from the water that's already got some ink in it than, it than it is, but it's not. So, well, it's picking up a little something. Yeah, it's getting wet now. Um, so that's going to be good. Let's see. Let's see what this does. All right. So I'm just going to kind of get painterly. And just let it do what it's going to do. I'm not going to, I promise you all, I'm not going to, well, I better watch that. Better watch what I promise because I might go back and try to move stuff around where I want it to go. That's the biggest problem I have with ink wash and watercolor is trying to control it when I should just let it happen. All I'm trying to do now is get a few areas now see this is where I'm almost done yep. okay this is where a hair dryer would come in because I would like to get that um, really dry because I can't really go back into it right now because if I do, uh, it's just going to reactivate the um, 
wash I just put down. It's not going to do like a second tonal value, and that's what I want. So we'll let that uh, dry for a little bit. I'll see if I got any questions here I need to answer. Uh, doesn't look like it. If anybody has a question, now would be a good time to ask. Uh, Stephen, thank you for the uh, PayPal and for the quick note. I did get that. Tater, thank you also. Got your quick note. Thanks for sending the reference. And whoops, I don't want to tape that down because I could tape it here. There we go. Also, um, the dry time, if I had the hair dryer, uh, would help me like when I need to go back into, well, I know it's dry enough to go back into his eye. I should probably do that while the background is drying because when I put the black around him, that's going to take a little bit of time to dry. So let's pull out the red pencil here and give him this uh, hopefully I didn't go too dark here give him this bloody eye that he's got Oh, and I will say the inter you know one of the interesting things is after seeing the uh, Spider Verse movie, I found out why Peter Parker was unkept and disheveled looking in the movie, and now it makes sense to me. <laughs> Because as before, as I noted to everybody, let's see, I think he's got a little bit of red on his nose too. So I think I'm going to just lightly give him a, a hint. So now I know why Peter Parker was in the jacket and uh, was a little disheveled looking. So it all makes sense now. When I was doing those pieces, I had no clue. Um, hey, thanks, AG. Uh, yeah, I uh, I know now why why Peter Parker was uh, was looking the way he did. And I'm not going to ruin it for you because it's kind of a good internal part of the movie. So for those of you who plan on seeing it, I, I think you're going to enjoy it. As I did and as Jacob did and his friend, um, we had a good time. Uh, I will say this, uh, and it's part of the reason I will say it is because I think uh, I sold the 3D to Jacob. Um, in fact, I know I did. I, I sold it a little too hard. Um, the 3D that we saw, it's fine. Excuse me just a minute.
I'm going to go in with a little black Prismacolor pencil here. Um, yeah, it's good. I, I like I like where it's going, Ron. I'm 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 pleased with this, and you know how I am. So, uh, but I want to do a little texture with this black pencil on his on his face here. Since I did the red, I kind of like that. Um, I really, I, I told Ron this, the, the 3D, you know, again, they're making these movies so that they can show them in 3D, but they're not true 3D movies, if you know what I mean. Uh, the, 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 the stuff was never meant, you know, they don't have the extreme stuff coming at you or stuff flying out of cupboards or something at you so you really get that you know that feeling that something's going to hit you it's just a movie and i guess they have the technology now i mean there was some cool stuff in there where the 3d helped but for the most part uh if you want my tip just see the regular one. There's no need to go 3D on it. If I saw it again, if I was if I was going back, I would I would not pay the extra couple of dollars uh, for the 3D experience because, again, like I said, it's it's really not about the 3D. It's you know. The 3D is just, hey, we, we can show it in 3D because the technology we have these days, any movie can be 3D. So there you go. In a nutshell, no need for 3D. I think, you know, there were a few scenes that looked great having the 3D, but overall not necessary all right second darker background back background background tone and hopefully it will be of the darker variety and I'm gonna try to it's gonna be a little tricky but as if successful which I think it is We'll get a nice effect. I'm going to leave it at that. 
trying to exercise a little restraint and not overwork certain areas as I've been known to do and I catch myself doing it but I do see one area right now that's this upper area that just needs probably some water to give it a little right in here it just need a little bit of a blend that should do it I will be taking this uh, brown paper and exchanging it before I start my sketches since I've got water going on it don't want the sketches to pick up any of that so this bottom piece is just like craft paper down below it also gives me a target on where to keep the art when I'm streaming and that's that's the way I'm gonna keep it Ron and AG <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it just like that. I'm, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. And that was done with this big number one flat. But I had this big area that's going to be black. So truthfully, I, I had a large area where I, uh, you know, you, you can see where I could cheat. So if I didn't have that big area, um, I... Boy, it it maybe wouldn't have been as easy. I I'm just glad I had it. How about I just leave it at that? Now, see if I had the hair dryer, get that background dry, fill in the blacks, and done. But we'll wait a minute. I could use some air dry on it. This is going to be gone. You know, this is this is still wet, as you can see. I give it this. Um, just so that when I put the, you know, when I put the black up to the black, it probably won't. But I don't want it to bleed any. But let's see. You can kind of. You can kind of see what's going on here. Doo -doo. Craggy old guy, I'll tell you that. All right, it's still damp, but in here it feels dry enough. So I am going to take my favorite for filling in big black areas, my Dr. Martin's black star matte finish that way the the black big black shape will dry to a nice dull matte finish and will not will not or should not be shiny um, and I may as well go ahead with my big brush because I got a big area to cover and then I'll just speed the process up and let's see, what do we got? About 1030-ish, 1026. Yeah, so. By noon, I will definitely be on. Uh, I will have time to make my thumbnail for YouTube for this piece once it's fully dry. That's another thing. The dry time for uh, for pieces like this. Um, whoa! For putting it on the scanner bed. You know, if I had that little hair dryer here, maybe I should run out and get one. You know the ones I'm talking about, uh, 
I I think most of you would. The little, I mean, they're small. They're you know, they're really travel size. And they are around 20 bucks, if not a little bit less. There you go, Ron. Just make sure, because uh, sometimes this PH Martin's uh, it does tend to thicken a little bit. That's that's the weird thing. That's what I loved about old nineteen eighties vintage Pelican yellow label drawing ink was you bought a bottle of it and man just brush pen filling in blacks erasing pencils over blacks instead of erasing and then filling in blacks and that stuff just stayed dark it just stayed black and it it went through a brush and a pen perfectly the, the consistency was wonderful didn't get too thick to clog up a brush, but it was thin enough to go through a pen. Not not so thick that it clogged up pen nibs. You get the, you know, it was great. And in fact, I inked this entire drawing with my old Pelican the bottle of ink I showed you yesterday, the Pelican Drawing Ink A, and the consistency of it was actually very good. What I did notice, and I even tested it though, and it didn't seem, but when I got more water, um, it tends to lift a little bit. So I'm not sure it's waterproof, but it didn't it didn't go crazy on me. I didn't lose the drawing. I didn't lose the line. But it it and I even practiced on it before. So that's why I was okay to go ahead with it, but I I wouldn't use it again for a wash drawing. I might use it to make the wash. But I may as well just use my bottle of black magic that's sitting here. That's never going to be. Uh, that's, that's funny. When you showed me that drawing with your um, black magic ink. And that was like straight out of the bottle. And it was a really, really nice shade of dark gray. I'm like, yeah, that, I was thinking, you know, that's the shade of dark gray I've been trying to get on some of my washes. So now I know how to get it. Just get a bottle of Black Magic. That's why I said in my in my list of suggested tools, I have Black Magic um, in the ink section, and I have next to it good for washes, and it is. It's already thinned down. It's already gray, not black. So you already kind of got like a 80 or 90% wash if you ever need something that's dark but not 100% black. Thank you. 
lightly touch at. This blue tape is low tech, so I don't worry about it um, catching the drawing while wow, that's really throwing a, a shadow. Or no, that's I had it lined up. It's looking like a shadow, but it's still dark. Oh well. So, Emperor. With your red eyes. With your blood red eyes. Yes, gray magic, AG. You got it. <laughs> hey, AG, that's cool. No, no problem there, man. I know a lot of people use them, uh, you know, to dry acrylics faster. I've heard of people putting oil paintings into ovens. I don't think that's a good idea. But I guess if you don't, you know, if you if you watch it and you know what you're doing, you're 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 gonna be okay. Uh, but yeah, um, I have a Walgreens right around the corner. Um, I would say I would get it later, but I won't. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I'll get it on my way home. Will I need it today? That's the question. Not if I'm doing just marker sketches, I won't. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this. Um, I'm just cleaning my hands. I am going to take this. And let's take this off so that the emperor can... And let's take this. This was my sheet where I was pointing my brush and getting my ink washes uh, figured out. There's the two of them. Let's go ahead and throw these away. And put the emperor on a clean background where we can properly view his image at the end of the stream. I wish I didn't have to have the blue tape, but I gotta have a little something to hold it up here. Right. And so it's still gonna be a little curved and stuff. Um, it's amazing the difference in real life versus recorded. Uh, but I think y'all can get the idea. So, um, that is it for now. Thank you all. Thumbs up for you for you guys for joining me today. Um, let's see. 10.35-ish. I got to clean up my work area here. Prepare it for quick sketches. 10.30, 11.30, 12.00. Maybe I should grab a light, something to eat. Very light. Although I was going to have that that big coffee. I still need that big coffee just to kind of power through. Hopefully I'll have a very productive afternoon doing uh, quick live sketches. And that, that coffee sometimes gives me that little extra added boost. So I want to say thank you all for coming out this morning to watch me do the Emperor. Um... I will be back again today. Let's call it noon. I, I know I can make 12, if not sooner. Uh, everybody, um, oh yeah, that's cool, AG. Do you know what time that is?
Is that his normal time at 10 o'clock Pacific? Yeah, Dr. Kaz. Come in noonish. I'll be working on, on your stuff. Oh, starting at 1. So that's 4 o'clock Eastern for me. Wow. That's brutal. Well, I know that it'll be recorded, so I might have to watch that on the replay. Four o'clock is getting a little, that's getting, that's getting time where, but it is on Thursday, Thursday and Friday. Is that on his Twitch, on his Twitch channel? Well, okay. Enough about Jim. <laughs> Jim 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 has like a thousand people in his room or close to that every time he streams. So uh he's way ahead of me, but hey, that doesn't matter. I I will have my audience, right? Um I want to thank you guys uh for joining me once again. This is episode can you believe this is episode twenty nine? of live drawing. Now, I did three episodes which got canned because I didn't like the drawing of Captain America. So this would have been episode 30, which means I would have I would have done 30 drawings if the Captain America had worked out. Well, I, I technically I still did. Ron is in possession of those rejects right now. <laughs> and I gave them to him, but he's under strict orders to not make them public. So that's that's the name of that tune. But I kept them. I didn't rip them up. I, I usually gift those to somebody and just tell them to promise me not to show them. And I have my own reasons. Uh, you know, a lot of people think they're fine, but me... I see stuff wrong with them and I don't want it out there. So anyway, people, thanks again. I will see you back at noon. If I ramble on, I won't see you back at noon because I'll just, well, I will see you back at noon. It'll just be one long stream, but I need to cut this one uh, and say thanks again. And it'll either be probably around 12 if it's 1130 and I'm really bored and itching to get going. Uh, maybe I'll start the sketching, but I know you all enjoy seeing the sketches, so I'm going to try to hold off. Until then, um, you all take care, and hopefully I will see you in a couple of hours. All right? If not, have a great day and see you tomorrow. I think it's probably going to be 9 o'clock Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when Jacob's last day of school, so I might just go ahead and and uh, make it easy for everybody. Have my wife pick him up in the afternoon and, and I can take him in the morning. All right, people. Thanks again. And uh, I will see you all soon. Take care. <laughs>